Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. We got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about today, including some very exciting updates regarding the FNAF movie. Finally, an update from Emil Mako regarding FNAF Fur, FNAF 4, and the FNAF trilogy ports. And a whole bunch of news regarding books and some upcoming merchandise, especially a brand new plushy wave from YouTube. So, without further ado, if you're excited, don't forget to hit the like button, scroll down there, give that sub button a little, little tickle, and let's hop right into the news. First up, let's kick it off with some book news. We got a brand new preview for the third collection of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels. This time, this is a three-page teaser for the story Step Closer, which is going to be included in the book set to release September 5th. Based on the first panel being a silhouette, usually that happens at the very beginning of these stories, so it looks like these uh, previews are showing off the early stages of the story. You've got our main character looks like at a Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria establishment. Some kid pointing over to Pirate's Cove wondering what happened to Foxy. Looks like he's out of service. Then it looks like our protagonist meets up with a girl. They end up striking over a conversation and then our protagonist goes over to a kid on an arcade machine. Like I said, the book's coming out sometime early September on the 5th and I'd love to know what are your thoughts so far on the preview for the story and also the wider range of the Fazbear Frets graphic novel collections. Moving on now to some merchandise. We've got some brand new Hot Topic products, including a Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex hat. This looks absolutely fantastic, and even underneath the brim, it's got a nice checkered board pattern. Very in style with the Pizza Plex. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And also found within Hot Topics is a brand new shirt, also featuring the Pizza Plex logo. This time, it is a lavender tank top. U2s is back in the news because they finally revealed their next upcoming wave of FNAF products. This time, it's a full brand new wave of plushies. They posted the full reveal of this wave earlier today today. And as you can see, this brand new wave includes a sitting Glamrock Freddy plushie, two sitting Toy Freddy plushies. One is called Rage Quit Toy Freddy because it looks like he's lost his game of Five Nights with Mr. Hugs on his little iPad. You've also got a sitting Freddy Fazbear plushie, and then you've got the chibi-styled Golden Freddy and Marionette plushies, as well as two shoulder riders for the Sun and Moon characters from Security Breach. A very stacked lineup of plushies. Personally, I already own some variations of the Freddy and uh, also Glamrock Freddy plushies so I probably won't be picking up those guys, but definitely got to cop the marionette and golden Freddy plushies. Those guys look fantastic, especially the puppet. And this whole wave is going to be dropping on February the 21st. And also, let's not forget, we also have a figures wave coming out most likely sometime in March. So whole bunch of YouTube's products coming out very soon. And now let's make our way over to Emil Mako and his brand new game page for the upcoming FNAF Fur. Going over the description on the game page quickly, it says, what the heck is this? Put down your silly horror games and join Candy and his twin sister Cindy on this brand new adventure. A spiritual successor to Candy's Adventure, a popular mini game from the hit horror experience FNAF 3. So basically, Candy has somehow left a ton of fur balls everywhere even in this description like actual balls of fur absolutely everywhere it's a huge it's a huge mess and he has to clean it up trek through the grassy lands of sweet hills venture into the dark caverns and uncover epic loot to help you on your way who knows maybe you'll even have to go further outside the territories of sweet hills where cat paws seldom travel use your powerful claws to break blocks and defeat enemies and maybe socialize with a few other animals characters along the way you know see if they need help with anything that's the hero way collect coins loot but most importantly fur balls what about fnac fur Shh, this game is not a replacement nor a weird joke front for the real deal which is known thus far as fnac 4 this game is its own thing. Think of it like the FNAF world to the FNAF series. And then Emil actually posted a full detailed devlog that doesn't have most of the jokey humor he throwed into the description, so let's go over that quickly. So basically, progress has been good on FNAF Fur so far. I've managed to surprise myself time and time again with the amount of clever mechanics and interactive elements that this game and its levels have to offer. Now when I say levels, I don't mean Super Mario Bros. 3 type levels that are short, linear, and can be selected from a world map of sorts. Nah, nah. Ah, this game's world is more coherent than that. It's all one big level with different areas and sections. I haven't been able to share much about the game besides the teaser trailer, which we did a full detailed video taking a look at that, so I'll leave that link down below if you want more details on FNAF Fur. But I will try from now on to give updates when I can. I'm hoping to be able to finish this game soon so I can get on with the rest of the FNAF series, which I am also working on still. I know it may seem weird for me to start an entire new game when I appear to be knee-deep in projects, but honestly, 
honestly, apart from feeling like I don't have all the time I want slash need, this is how I want things. It's good to be able to shift between projects now and then to avoid burnout, for example, but it also allows me to return to a project with new eyes, which helps to avoid tunnel vision, especially since I am a solo dev on my games, so I could develop major tunnel vision on every aspect of the games. But anyway, this was my introductory devlog post. FNAF 4 will be finished eventually afterwards, so will FNAF 4, along with the ports and updates of the FNAF trilogy. I'm truly sorry for keeping you waiting all this time, but you'll have to trust me to deliver on my projects. So that's a very short and sweet update on FNAF 4 and also some other FNAF projects that are currently still in the works. I personally don't mind a meal taking time to work on some other projects, even though I know a lot of people, because trust me, I get a lot of comments asking, hey, any updates on FNAF 4? I'm glad Emil's doing his own thing and he's not feeling the pressure to constantly be working on FNAF 4 and the main game uh, trilogy of FNAF games. Personally, I freaking adored Candy's Adventure, so I absolutely cannot wait to see a full, more in-depth look at a Candy's Adventure with FNAF 4. And also, just one last thing on FNAF 4, Emil tweeted out the plan is for a Steam release and possibly a demo on Game Jolt. Now, for some reason, we haven't had definitive confirmation whether or not FNAF 4 is in the fanverse, but based on Emil wanting a Steam release, seems pretty likely it's going to be in the fanverse. And now I move on to the final few topics of this FNAF news video, talking about some brand new updates regarding the FNAF movie. I've made a whole bunch of videos talking about the FNAF movie regarding brand new updates on filming, the full cast and crew announcements, as well as a trilogy confirmed for the film series. So if you want more details on those, there will either be an iCard up here or, again, and they'll be linked down below. But anyways, we've got Natalie O'Brien joining the crew of the upcoming film as a costume designer, most known for her work on the Spirit Awards nominated film Honey Boy and Ingrid Goes Home. Natalie O'Brien is a very prominent name in the costume designer scene, so it's absolutely fantastic to have yet another big name working on the film. And then also yesterday, we got a strange post uploaded to the FNAF subreddit, and included within that post was this picture, what appears to be a sign for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now, the person who posted this image had no clue what was going on. They didn't even know much about FNAF, let alone the fact that a movie's being made. They just said they saw this sign on their way to work, and it was kind of near a filming building. And actually, as it turns out, later that day, we would get the full official reveal of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place sign. We'll go back to that pizza place. By the company that actually produced the full sign, Signworks. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the official sign for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place in Blumhouse's FNAF movie. Taking a look at one of the behind the scenes images that Signworks posted to their Facebook page gives us a more better look at the sign in full lighting. So we can take in all of the details, the Freddy Fazbear's iconic logo that has been used in so, so much merchandise, the bright flashing lights, as well as a slight but subtle checkered board pattern behind Freddy. And of course, let's take a look at Freddy Fazbear himself, because interestingly enough, this version of Freddy has some gloves, as well as some green eyes, which as I'm sure we all know at this point, those two details are not on FNAF 1 Freddy. A lot of people have been harping on this sign because of those two details. Honestly, I don't care that much. I think the gloves actually add to Freddy. Maybe that's a hot take, but I don't think he looks that bad with the gloves. I don't think the animatronics themselves are going to have gloves. I'm sure they just did this for, you know, design purposes just to switch things up for the for the sign out front of the pizzeria but other than that oh my god the sign absolutely kills it it looks straight out of the 1980s with Chuck E. Cheese and Showbiz Pizza, all those other uh, pizza chains. It fits in so well they absolutely knocked it out of the park with the sign and I just can't believe you know it's it's finally starting to dawn on me that this movie is finally being made when we're getting, you know, news like this. So I'd love to know, what are your thoughts so far on the sign? Do you like the gloves? Are you confused why it's called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place? Seems like that was the name in FNAF 6's location. So whether or not, again, it's just another design aesthetic choice, kind of like the gloves, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But that's gonna do it for this exciting FNAF news video. Once again, tell me all your thoughts on everything we talked about in today's video in the comments down below. All the FNAF movie updates, FNAF fur, the brand new YouTube plushies. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.